Hi, and welcome to Power Hour. This is 99.9 .9 Sports Talk Radio. Um, I'm joined by my partners. Lee Woodfield and Calvin Kaplan. Today we're going to be, discuss be discussing the NBA Draft. The, f the first two picks of the NBA Draft are likely to be Zion at first to the New Orleans Pelicans and John Morant to the Memphis Grizzlies at the, sec at the second pick. But the third pick is still unsure, with talent like Kobe White, DeAndre Hunter, Jarrett Culver, R.J. Barrett, and others. So we don't really know exactly who's going to go number three. What are your thoughts on this topic? I think Jarrett Go Culver is going to go third because he led his team to uh, a, a final in college, Texas Tech, and and he helped a lot. And I think the Knicks need need a player that helps them to the finals because right now they don't really have that player. And and the Knicks is a right team for um, Derek Culver. And yeah. I go to my other partner, Calvin Kaplan. All right, thanks Luke. I think RJ Barrett is gonna go third from Duke to the Knicks. RJ Barrett is a big time player. He played with Duke in college. They advanced far in the NCAA tournament. He dropped many points on many nights. I think he has the potential to be at the face of the franchise for the Knicks and be their star in the future. And I think he can turn this team around. I'm told we have a live caller. If you want to join join the caller, well, not join the caller, but join as among the callers, call 1-800-72-POWER. Again, that's 1-800-72-POWER. Uh, Simon from Baltimore, you're live. What's going on, guys? Love the show. So I, I actually don't know if R.J. Barrett will be the option at number three. I think Darius Garland is a look for the Knicks. They would like a guard that can do some stuff with his hands and also be an effective shooter. I think R.J. Barrett actually might go number two, so that makes John Morant maybe available at three. Uh, other options for big men, I like Jackson Hayes a lot out of Texas. Um, he's got some upside that a lot of people are into. But there's a lot of options. Uh, what do you think about those three names? Uh, Darius Garland, John Moran, and Jackson Hayes. Wouldn't you be worried that a player like Jackson Hayes with Texas may not be able to win as many games because Texas didn't make the March Madness tournament? Uh, I think there's a, there's a real argument there that, you know, the great players play for great teams. But, you know, John Moran also played for Murray State in the Ohio Valley Conference. Well, while, yes, they were either first or second in the league in both of his years and made the NCAA tournament, you know, they didn't win the national championship. Zion Williams also didn't win a national championship at Duke. They didn't even go to a Final Four. So there's a, there's a case there to be made as well. If, if we're really looking at um, explicitly who were champions over the last three or four years and say their best player should be the number one overall pick, I don't know if that's the right logic. I, I understand where you're coming from there. Um, cur uh, Myself, I don't, I don't know about Jackson Hayes considering that he didn't make the tournament. And like you said, the Zion and players like that didn't make the Final Four. But if you don't make the tournament at all, then you can make a case using that logic as well. So I understand what you're com where you're coming from, though. Thank you for calling in, Simon. Again, if you want to call, 1-800-72-POWER. Uh, that will be if you want to call tomorrow because our show is wrapping up. So thanks for watching. Again, I'm Luke Brown with with Ian Whitfield and Calvin Kaplan. Thanks for watching Power Hour.